IELTS 17, published by Cambridge University Press and Assessment, 2022. This recording is copyright. Test 1. This is the IELTS listening test. You will hear a number of different recordings and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four parts. At the end of the test, you will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to the answer sheet. Now turn to part one. Part one. You will hear a woman called Jan phoning a man about their local conservation group. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 5. Now listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 5. Hello? Oh, hello. My name's Jan. Are you the right person to talk to about the Buckworth Conservation Group? Yes, I'm Peter. I'm the secretary. Good. I've just moved to this area and I'm interested in getting involved. I was in a similar group where I used to live. Could you tell me something about your activities, please? Of course. Well, we have a mixture of regular activities and special events. One of the regular ones is trying to keep the beach free of litter. A few of us spend a couple of hours a month on it, and it's awful how much there is to clear. I wish people would be more responsible and take it home with them. I totally agree. I'd be happy to help with that. Is it OK to take dogs? I'm afraid not, as they're banned from the beach itself. You can take them along the cliffs, though, and children are welcome. Right. We also manage a nature reserve, and there's a lot to do there all year round. For example, because it's a popular place to visit, we spend a lot of time looking after the paths and making sure they're in good condition for walking. I could certainly help with that. Good. And we have a programme of creating new habitats there. We've just finished making and installing nesting boxes for birds to use. And next, we're going to work on encouraging insects. They're important for the biodiversity of the reserve. They certainly are. Oh, and we're also running a project to identify the different species of butterflies that visit the reserve. You might be interested in taking part in that. Sure. I was involved in something similar where I used to live, counting all the species of moths. I'd enjoy that. Another job we're doing at the reserve is replacing the wall on the southern side, between the parking area and our woodshed. It was badly damaged in a storm last month. OK. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 6 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. Then, as I said, we have a programme of events as well, both at the weekend and during the week. Right. I presume you have guided walks. I'd like to get to know the local countryside as I'm new to the area. Yes, we do. The next walk is to Ruston Island a week on Saturday. We'll be meeting in the car park at Dunsmore Beach at low tide. That's when the sands are dry enough for us to walk to the island without getting wet. Sounds good. The island's a great place to explore. It's quite small and it's got a range of habitats. It's also an ideal location for seeing seals just off the coast or even on the beach. OK. And is there anything we should bring? Like a picnic, for instance? 
Yes, do bring one, as it's a full day walk. And of course, it'll be wet walking across and back, so make sure your boots are waterproof. I must buy a new pair. There's a hole in one of my current ones. Well, I'd definitely like to come on the walk. Great. Then later this month, we're having a one-day woodwork session in Hopton Wood. I've never tried that before. Is it okay for beginners to take part? Definitely. There'll be a couple of experts leading the session, and we keep the number of participants down, so you'll get as much help as you need. Excellent. I'd love to be able to make chairs. <laughs> That's probably too ambitious for one day. You'll be starting with wooden spoons. And, of course, learning how to use the tools. And anything you make is yours to take home with you. That sounds like fun. When is it? It's on the 17th from 10am until 3. There's a charge of £35, including lunch, or £40 if you want to camp in the wood. I should think I'll come home the same day. Well, I'd certainly like to join the group. It sounds like you got... That is the end of part one. You now have half a minute to check your answers to part one.